the news. Tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Monday, July 30th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lipke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. On Saturday at approximately 8 p.m., officers from the Klamath Falls Police Department responded to an assault in progress on Diamond Street. Upon arrival, officers located two victims, one male and one female, who both had been struck in the head with a hammer. Investigating officers identified William Bernard Ahn Jr., age 60, as the suspect, who allegedly unlawfully entered his estranged girlfriend's residence and struck both his ex-girlfriend and her brother in the head with a hammer, causing serious physical injury. He then is alleged to have stolen a vehicle belonging to one of the victims and attempted to run over another subject that was standing in the street. Both victims were transported to Skylakes Medical Center with serious injuries. The female victim was later flown to Bend for additional medical treatment. Air pollution levels in the Klamath Basin have returned to very unhealthy levels as wildfires in southern Oregon and northern California continue to burn, resulting in dangerously high levels of smoke and particulate matter blown in by the prevailing winds. On Monday morning, smoke in Klamath Falls was measured at 205 micrograms per cubic meter, according to the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality. Based on recent trends, smoke levels are likely to go down this afternoon, however, are expected to remain at unhealthy levels. During very unhealthy smoke conditions, all residents should remain indoors when possible with windows closed and should avoid strenuous activity outside. A local woman is believed to have caused a serious collision that injured herself and seven other people near the California border Sunday morning. California Highway Patrol said a 65-year-old Klamath Falls woman was driving a GMC pickup east on State Line Road shortly before 10 a.m. Sunday when she failed to yield at a stop sign at the intersection with Highway 39. She then allegedly struck the side of a Toyota minivan driven by a 44-year-old Carson City, Nevada man, which was occupied by six passengers. The van was overturned and partially blocked State Line Road. All eight individuals were hospitalized, including a 16-year-old male and 17-year-old female flown to a trauma center in Portland in critical condition. The Klamath County Fair begins this Thursday, offering four full days of fun. Highlights include a headlining concert by country star Cody Johnson Thursday night, the 24th annual Great Northwest Pro Rodeo Friday and Saturday, and the Rotary 4-H auction on Sunday. Carnival rides are open from noon to midnight each day, and on Sunday admission is free, as well as a buy one get one free offer for Carnival ride wristbands at $25. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Tuesday, July 31st Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. And thanks for listening.